Just a quick look at the receiver on that car because some people like to know these things. These four here are the H bridge for the drive motor, the forwards backwards. So they come out onto those two tags just there, which is those two tags just there. And I would think that one, that one, that one, and probably that one are the H bridge for the steering motor, which comes out on those two tags. I'm not going to try and identify the other components. We don't really need to know. But some people get all excited about H bridges. So if you want to know more, you'll have to Google it. Or well, there's plenty of videos on YouTube on the subject anyway. I think the only other thing that's reasonably interesting is there's actually a fuse. And that's the trim pot for the frequency, or at least I think that's what you do with it. Or well, certainly for the sensitivity anyway. But I just thought I'd point them out. One, two, three, four, H bridge feeding out on those two tags. And one, two, three four, I think, feeding out on those two tags, which is the steering. When I say I think, obviously there's another one just there that could be it, but it will be a combination of four of those five. And without getting my microscope out and trying to read the numbers on it, I can't really be sure. I've got the microscope out, so we'll have a quick look at the old 40 megahertz receiver board. There's not a lot on it, or at least it's well spread out, so we should be able to see it fairly easily. Um, where can we start? There's nothing much up in the top end of the board. This, I think, is one of the H-bridge, uh, I'll call them transistors, power transistor, I don't know. B772031, got another one just above it, I think that's D882, or oh, if I twist it the right way, yeah, D882051, and down there is the other one. That looks like B772031, and then right the way over there, I think it's the fourth one of the H bridge, D882051, uh, that says M4, and next to it it says it's, a, it's D6, so I assume that means it's a diode. Uh, got a little capacitor there. I think that is one of the H bridge for the steering. 3P58, which I think. Where are we? Uh, 5PSC or 5C. Then, where are we? That one, 5PSC. And that one, 3P. 5, 8. So I think that's the the 4 for the H bridge at that end, for the steering. What else have we got in there? A couple of resistors. Oh, that's the big chip. Well, I say big, it's tiny. New bright. R288S 605-00114. So that is the receiver chip that does all the all the work. We've got a few resistors and capacitors. Another 5P 5C transistor. Uh, those two solder blobs 
of the steering output. There's lots of these TPs everywhere, test points. That's the battery terminal. And the other end there is the other battery terminal. Uh, coming across, what have we got here? L1. With 150 written on it. And a couple of capacitors. Capacitor, resistor, a couple of capacitors, another test point, a couple more resistors, and these things here, I thought they were going to be transistors, but they got C next to them for capacitor, so they must be electrolytic capacitors I guess. It says ZD1. Does that mean Zener diode? I don't know. One says A8 and the other one says E6 and one says 4C and the other one says 4... I don't know. 1? Uh, what else we got? Another resistor, a couple more little capacitors and then we're back to the H bridge again. Oh! Is the new bright 106W SMD ROHS revision 2 and the serial number E982121019 and I think that's it well that's all we can see on this side on the other side I think I've already shown you there's a a fuse and a trim pot. Yeah, the trim pot's down through through there. Right, that's it.